to attempting to paint with Mark. Today I'm thinking about doing a nice bright winter scene because those look really pretty and it's been snowing and wintery around here so I thought it was quite appropriate. Titanium white, cadmium yellow, bright red, alizarin crimson, Van Dyke Brown, Sap Green, Phalo Blue, Midnight Black. Alright, so let's start out by uh, making our sky. Going with this uh, Cadmium Yellow. Pull it out onto the brush. So we're starting with the one inch brush today. And we're going to start the center and work our way out, getting darker as we go, or lighter as we go. I just light a little bit of the bright red in there, make a nice orange. Always working our way out. That's with a little bit more of that red. with the dry brush to work our way out. We gotta clean our brush and go dry. All right, we had trouble last time when it came to drying our brushes, so we're extra prepared this time with extra paper towels. All right, done with the one inch brush, just work our way out. Look at that, nice fiery orange sun. As we keep working it out, it'll keep getting lighter and lighter and lighter. That looks pretty good. Let's go back and redry our brush to re-clean it. We're gonna, make, we're gonna have water down here eventually, so we'll have to put some colors in for that. All right, let's go back with the yellow. Just a little bit, and just push it down through here like this. All right, and back with that nice orange color. Just make it vertical strokes. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Wash that off again. Right. Switch to another paper towel so we always have completely dry brushes between each switch of colors. All right, we gotta think what we wanna do. All right, let's go back to the titanium white. Go to it, we haven't been to it yet. Really load up our brush. Just barely, just go across. Line this up and pull it down a little bit more. Right, there we go. Pull it down through there. I 
know why it's just gonna light it up so it's not quite as harsh. Perfect. Alrighty, and we got this, now we can put the shade for a tree that we're going to put in. So let's go with a little bit of this um, Van Dyke Brown, pull that out, with a little bit of black mixed in there, maybe a little bit of lizard and crimson, throw that in there, just a little bit. Looks like I forgot to put a little phthalo blue on my palette, so let me throw that on there real quick. All right, we want to mix in a little bit of blue. Mix a little bit too much in there, so we'll have a little bit of black to bounce it. All right, so we got to think where we want to put our trees. A little bit more. A little bit too much blue in there, but that'll be okay. And then lightly for these ones far in the back. All right, let's clean our brush again. Make sure this gets completely clean. Man, I got too much blue in there. <laughs> See how much blue I got in there? Way too much, darn it. Oh well, it's okay. All right, we gotta think where we want our land now. All right, so we got our shadow. Put it in, now we're going to add depth by adding a layer of ground. And then we'll go ahead and put some stems in and then put some leaves. Alright, so since it's snowy, we're going to use white for our ground. Alright, we're going to load it up with a lot of white this time. Like so. We're just going to cut across. I want to let the colors blend because that just creates a shadow. So Daisy, now we're mixing colors. All right, <clears throat> wash that off. All right, let's soak in a little bit. Let's switch over to fan brush, which is completely dry. Now I go back in here, may add a couple more bushes here in the foreground. All right, let that soak a little bit too. We'll go back to the one inch brush to add our leaves in. Whoops, they're all over my hand. <laughs> so it's just clean paper towel. Okay, should be good. All right, let's go a little bit of the sap green, pull it down here. Little bit of cad yellow. <coughs> Maybe a little bit of red. All 
I'm trying to make this a little bit dark since it is a winter scene. Or a little bit lighter, I mean, not darker. Alright, and then just here on the edges where they stick, so it looks like leaves. Alright, add a little bit more yellow. And then create layers. See, we add a little bit too much blue, and that's starting to blue up everything. More yellow, just on the tips. Just nice. Contrasting. There we go. Alright. Forgot to add in some stems underneath those branches. Go ahead and go with paint thinner. Grab some of this black blue color make it super inky thin maybe a little bit more of this black in there that soak in there and then let's go back to this green color maybe or I see how it extends over makes it look like it's got branches one branch there one up there maybe one right here too Wipe this one off. Get that blue off there. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, let's add some more of that background in. All right, clean up that one-inch brush. All right, let's go with a little bit of this dark again. All right, let's add another big tree right up in here. All right. Hopefully that didn't just ruin an entire painting doing that right there. back to our pencil real inky inky black and right, we got those in there wash that off all right let's go back with our fan brush <clears throat> Add in some of those leaves on top. All right, got to keep that shade in there create depth a little bit more red brighten that up just 
So we're creating depth by creating these layers. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's add some more snow in real quick, and then we'll finish it off. All righty, go with our palette knife. We need a little bit more titanium white. Alright, pull that down, load up our brush, or load up our uh, knife, just pull it along. Okay. Make a nice little marbly color. Skip just a little bit, get the nice color. Mm -hmm. Let's go back with a little of that blue and black. That might have been a bad idea, but oh well, we're working with it. Alrighty, what to do next? Let's add in some watermarks. Right down through here. All right. Add in a couple more bushes for top of the land. Well, then just set it back into the sea. All right, let's dry that off. All right, let's go with that nice bushy brown color we were creating. Nice and bright. Maybe add a little bit more yellow. There we go. A lot more yellow, actually. There we go. I need one right here, too. Creates that depth we were looking for. Alrighty, it's looking pretty good to me. All right, let's go with our big two inch brush. Clean up some of this water. Brush. Barely. Right. Oh. That looks okay. And let's just add one more cloud at the top and add some sticks and we'll be done. Alright, so with our fan brush, clean that off real good like. Ooh, I made that one a mess last one. <laughs> Alright, last paper towel, so good thing we're almost done. with a nice pink so let's go with some red pull that out more white all right all 
Maybe one more. Perfect. Packing with our big dry brush. Good. Walk just the bottoms. Perfect. All right, let's call this one done. Clean up our brushes, and that'll be it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, next time we'll have a better painting.